Okay, cool. You said F and J is largely uneventful. <laughs> and then Grainy missed it. Okay, I'm just gonna say um, Cole Caper is very uneventful and see what happens. I'm gonna get a fucking 112 now, thanks, Ticker. <laughs> <laughs> and gets one pixeled. Sorry, I just I just looked at Greedy's six minutes set to kill. Alright. Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the group L match between Atomic Caleb and Bamford. You need to change that title. Okay. Uh, onto it. Mm. Uh, I am here with my co-commentator, it's Tika. Hello. <laughs> Formerly, it's the real ticker, but now, just ticker. No, there's no real ticker anywhere. Uh, no real, no fake tickers. I'm just a uh, V ticker. There is only one, we should know that by now. So, uh, this should be an interesting race. Um, this is Caleb's final race in the group, the number one seed. And... Bamford's first race is the number three seed. You'd expect this to be an easy win for Caleb. Except his last race earlier today was a 140.06. Bamford's PB is a 141.11. So it's all about whether Caleb actually does well or not. Yeah, and if, if Bamford can pull off a PB. If Caleb plays close to his PB, Assume they should win quite comfortably, but if not, then yeah, Bamford is definitely good enough that he can snag an upset. Uh, I would think it's safe to say it hasn't been a great tournament for Caleb so far. Bought Army in the first race, and failed a poor cut since get Bampart 2 in the second. Be looking to have a nice clean race here. Not by a poor Army. Yeah, that's the, not, uh, the main thing. Don't buy a blue army. Uh, so this race will be starting in about five minutes. Um, Both runners and 150 FPS. This will be interesting. The cutscenes. Yeah, um, so I can't remember seeing many with both at 150. There must have been a few already because there are a lot of runners on 150. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so, I haven't watched a lot of Bamford. Um, I've watched quite a lot of Caleb. Caleb recently has been playing really well, especially early games. Uh, he's been on a very good pace. So, if you can get one of those runs going and finish it off, we could be seeing a PB from Caleb. And I assume Bamford as well could definitely PB. If it's another one of those newer runners like me, he started around a similar time to me, and he's yeah. done well to improve as well. So it should it be a like, good race. Yeah, it seems like we've had a whole wave of new runners coming in, which is good. It's what we want. Um, lots of them in the tournament, and lots of them improving quite quickly. Um, yeah, in the last week, I think we've had. At least three or four cracks up on 50. And then, you know, from there you just grind a little bit into sub 140, as Tigo has done. And then sub 130 is just around the corner. Exactly. So the other important thing, especially for Caleb, would be seeding. He is currently the 11th seed, or 11th fastest, though one of Smith or Gibstack would have to go below him, as one of them would have to finish second. If Caleb wins this race, he will finish first in the group. Um, but yeah, you'd want to 
you want to make sure you get some good seeding to try and avoid playing people like liquid and bacon early on. It's definitely not what you want if you're going to progress as far as you can. Yeah, a lot of first, like a lot of the bottom ish first, first seeds and the some second seeds haven't really had good races this tournament. So yeah. Caleb will be trying to get a good final race. Yeah, I could put my hand up to that. Two terrible races so far. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I can turn it around and Caleb can show me how it's done first. Uh, yeah. I don't really know what to say about Bamford, considering I haven't watched a lot and there hasn't been any tournament races to go off. I think the key moment for him, key moments for him will be in Apu. To go off. Getting that Bermuda Triangle, as Kelvin has na named it. Yeah. Armored Truck, yeah. Curator, that cutscene skip. Yeah. I think that'll be much... huge for both runners. Yeah, and so as you can see, Caleb practicing 7-3, which has been taking a lot of victims. Uh, had Derek earlier in Chile, lost a 126 pace run to it. Just half an hour ago, I lost a run to 7-3. So it's a difficult trick. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Bamford does out of bounds. I don't, don't know if you know that. Um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Let's take a look. I know he definitely doesn't do 7-3. I think... That sucks, Dan. He was, he was practicing symmetry resets. Yeah. I think if he's going to go for out of bounds, I think he's going to go for 7-6. Which cutscene do you want me to uh, mimic, K3? The That's opening fine. one? Uh, why? Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey! Okay, I can do that. Um, is. Ticker allowed to mimic any part of it or do I have to do the whole cutscene? Say hey hey. You, you want to do hey hey? Yeah. All right. Done. Nothing else. Do <laughs> All right. How about you do the announcer that we know of part as well? The what? The, you know how it's like, isn't poisonous? And then the other guy goes, that we know of? Isn't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't yes, we this you are on the ball. Um, so Caleb is ready. Um, Bamford, if you can give us any sort of indication that you're ready. Two hands up if you're ready. Or if you're not here. And that's how it goes. Anyway. Who's doing the countdown? Me or you, D-Tops? Um, you can do it. Uh, wait, so is Bamford ready? Do we know? Are we doing a uh, chat countdown? Or, yeah, we also need Bamford to confirm he's ready. We're doing chat or voice countdown? Bamford is in VC. Assuming you can hear us. Yes, he can. Pretty there sure. There we go. He said he's ready. Um... All right. Yeah, Count down now. Yeah, Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. So Twitch not allowing me to send the messages super quick. All right, all yours. Hey, hey. I'm endorsing a new cola. Hey, hey. This one isn't I'm endorsing a new cola, kids. And this one isn't poisonous to anybody that we know of. New and improved Buzz Cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient too hard for the FDA. It'll give you the get up and go you need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. 
try new and improved Buzz Cola. Mm, buzz Cola. Must get Buzz Cola. <sighs> oh, if it was worth it, Cameron. I really love this. Alright, so. Nathan's probably gonna get me to do sexy footage. <laughs> so, Bamford already not the greatest start having to go into the family stand normally was a couple of seconds. Very slow. It was worth Polar Caper it. is, as some people would say, uneventful. Yeah, first three missions are all very uneventful. Yeah. Yeah, all very grab close. It. Yeah, grab some tea. If you're gonna do it, do it now. Uh, yeah, so Caleb, off to a little bit of a start, um, a better start. So, even though there's not a lot happening here, in these first three missions, uh, the better runners can still save quite a lot of time just through optimal driving. Yeah, it's one of those missions where it's just like, um, you gotta drive well and I think there's only like one or two moments where traffic can get in the way, such as that jump down there to the second box. Yeah, which both players look like they've dealt with pretty well. Um, Caleb almost getting Wii Wii in SMRT. It looks like a 2AA SMRT. A 2A9, sorry. Yeah. Two and nine, you'd probably take that for your cable. So I'd say Bamford's six seconds behind. Yeah. But yeah, still very early on. Can definitely make that time up. Um, so yeah, moving on to Petty Theft, which is pretty much just a longer version of the two missions we've done. Uh, a lot of driving, just collecting stuff. Um, has a great soundtrack though. Do. Do. Um, yeah, the main main parts that can go wrong are talking to Barney, as Sam from Kale had to, uh, couldn't step out of his car. for re-entering his car accidentally. And then yeah, the jump at the end of the Duff truck. Probably the hardest part for the mission. You see, um, if they spawn the wasp at the playground, because then we'll know if they're going to try for a trailer park freebie in FBI. Okay, we'll get a really nice, uh, Corner turn and dark truck turn around. Bamford has pretty okay versions of both as well. Um, I would assume that if both players don't use Plow King. I know Caleb definitely doesn't. Okay. I'm pretty sure Bamford doesn't. Oh, he's missed a box. That's not good. Yeah. Definitely not the greatest, but you can make that up. You can maybe get Cletus Box or get an extra coins well, if I want. Ooh, the tickling my feet. <laughs> Hopefully Bamford yeah, doesn't. Mouse on, <laughs> on screen made me think of time skip. Yeah, please don't time skip Bamford. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that is not allowed. <laughs> Alright, so now both players moving on to office space, uh, where the first real stress of the run begin. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in I'm going for ESS here. Yeah. yeah, gets a nice lenny push as well. Let's do this Bamford. Bamford doesn't get a good lenny push. He has to get out of his car and speak to him normally. Ouch, my yeah. bikini zone's chafing. It's gonna lose Lenny's. him some time. Lenny being a coward and jumping out of the way. Take it like a real man. <laughs> Just get hit by the car. <laughs> and both players getting the minivan. So it should be easy comparison. Yeah, about it's the most recommended vehicle for everyone. You can get those stone cutter wasps easier. Alright, so K 
Caleb gets a pretty good push in. This looks like a uh, quite a quick one. And forget it. That's a good turnaround. Will he get him in the strut though? Yes, he does. Yeah. Caleb getting yeah, a decent blind book, not blind book, rather. Off the space as well. I mean, yeah, Bamford looks like might even be quicker than Caleb, so. Might even save some time there. Fair play to Bamford. But yeah, Caleb able to save a little bit of time by skipping that pan. Yeah, building up quite a lead. We have to see what happens in FBI and Bone Storm. It's a two missions that can lose your time for no reason. Yeah, they're not the not the most fun missions. Like if they go wrong, they can go really wrong. Um, so we did have someone redeem uh, mimic cutscene. I feel like it's your turn now, Tika. I know the script. I'll just say sexy footage, sexy footage, sexy footage. <laughs> just try our best. I'll still just do from Vogue Quimby. These miniature cameras are an outrage. Bar now on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think we speak for all Springfooders and I say, where is the sexy footage? That was perfect. Now, some Marge voice. Oh, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. crouching. Sweet. Not bad, not bad. Definitely heard worse. I, I, will, I will not speak for the next minute. Nothing lasts forever. Um, yeah, Lampton's one <laughs> yesterday was probably the funniest I've ever heard. Alright, oh, so... I've Caleb. done much worse. <laughs> Caleb's starting Flowers and so is Bamford now. Um, yeah, it's not, not a very difficult mission, but you've got to control the black van. Make sure it's always going at full speed. Because the mission yeah. in the end is when... Apart from going inside the plow park, because you can get stuck in that bottom bit, Caleb gets the trailer park plus there, which is nice. Yeah. Uneventful, some might say, yeah. Yeah, some people fail this mission still. Yeah, how can you fail it? Black Man goes so slowly. Alright, so Bamford electing to get Cletus box, um, which is becoming more popular in the community. But does miss it's the I'd say it's becoming less popular for that reason. Um, to get that trailer park wasp, it's a lot harder to get Cletus box and that trailer park wasp, so people just opt for uh, doing the manip in petty theft to get that wasp. Oh, interesting, I actually found the opposite. Um, Caleb not getting either of the stone cutters was as freebies, but gets one on foot, and his coins are still very nice. And doesn't look too happy. Shaking the camera up and down. And let's see if Bamford gets better luck with the boss. And he does, he gets one. Does he get the other? He gets the other. Back to Caleb and Bonestorm. Seems to have had a good start. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, for me, I'd like to get six by this turn here with Deli Sines. And he's got that, so he can definitely get ten by the short turn. Yeah, that's a really good Bonestorm. Ooh. Can I bother shortcut? Yeah, very well done. Key for this mission is just to hit the corners and be efficient in your braking. Yeah, pretty much. Just try and break as you're hitting it, pretty much. And hope the truck is nasty. 
Yeah, so Taylor on track for a pretty good Homer 1. Probably in the mid um, 1120s. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, I'm saying 1127. Uh, I'm going to say 1122. Yeah, so Bamford not having as good a bonus storm, not a bad one by any means, but still lose a bit of time to Kalos. Did he go for this boss? No, he doesn't. Doesn't need to. Eleven twenty two, you're spot on, Daytops. What can I say? I gotta get the new No problem. And Caleb also doing some burns abuse. Mm. Gotta work off my gut. Doesn't get a sports car. Oh, he's gone for that one. He was lucky there. Whoa, yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth it, but like it might lose a little bit of time here. We'll hopefully be able to make it up in two two. Oh yeah, bacon. I hope no one ever runs an unlimited. One person he did for a bit. Bam for gain a decent um primal one. What did he ex what you'd expect from his level? Yeah, a low twelve minute home is definitely not an issue. You've got it. Let's hit the town. Um Bam for electing to go into on a roller. Probably still the most common. And let Skinner tap him on the back, which usually left makes Skinner uh, spin out. And yeah, Bamford looks like it's a pretty good escape. Um, and yeah, Caleb is the only person I've ever seen go around the car. 2 2. I'm not sure if there's a reason for it. Sorry, Bob. He doesn't want to spawn the wasp. Both players and weapons now. Which is probably the easiest um, mission in Bart, Bart 1. So, Bamford not able to get that sports car. Has to settle for the taxi. Which would lose him some time. Taxi, bro. Taxi, bro. So, yeah, so... Um, because of how often uh, you're going to be stopping and starting in this car, I mean, this mission, the sports car's acceleration is going to be very helpful for the cable. Should be able to get um, a little bit more of a lead. Oops. Yeah, probably extend that to before. close to a minute, I would say. This is probably the hardest part of the mission, which isn't really that hard, escaping Wigan. Yeah, what a good strike. The Bartman knows all. Get some awkward traffic. Hey, Java. Yeah, makes it work. Bart Simpson at your service. Vox, this mission can go wrong, but it sh should in most of the time it goes well. Yeah. It gets the wasp at the crusty burger. <laughs> Uneventful mission. <laughs> It's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, as you said, it's a pretty easy mission. As long as you aren't hitting a whole bunch of stuff, it should be fine. And, yeah, Gale showing us perfectly how it's done. See if he gets a sports car, or there's some bad traffic here. Gets the sports car in the end. Bamford has an, having an interesting looking Wigan escape, but. Works out pretty well. Children weren't meant to get this much exercise. When was the last time someone lost the race? Um, I'm pretty sure at least one person has lost it in the tourney already. I'm not sure who, but I'm pretty sure I saw someone lose it. 
yeah, it can happen if the um, all cab doesn't get dirt jump. Yeah, not happy. That traffic car doesn't see spawn makes it a lot harder. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like he's also gonna have no problems with bombs. Yeah, mostly goes well, but there can be instances where um, the nerd card drives like a god. Yeah. Oh, taxi bro again. Yeah, really bad RNG for that, but... Yeah, because of how quick the nerd car is, if it does drive well, it can make the race a little bit scary. Alright, so... Caleb got, uh, stairs at the start of the mission, while Banff has no trouble with that. I don't think Banff will go for dirt jump here. It's really hard in the taxi. Yep. Not Smart so decision. Go for the I'm sure why didn't go for the Alright, so this is gonna be the main place where Caleb having this water car is gonna help over the taxi. Just this little bit of acceleration Loser. here. And it's just a much more pleasant vehicle to drive. Easier to control, a little faster, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure what Caleb's not happy with now. I'm just the overall run. And Will Ben forget the box? Yes, just does it. Just. That can sometimes be an awkward box to get, especially with that hit and run meter. Taxi's not great. Alright, so Caleb having 575 coins after buying Frank is pretty good. I'll take that. No, I agree, Derek. I'm not sure if Caleb's doing it for me or if he actually. I don't think I've seen him drive like that usually. No, and I think Bamford's coins look like right as well. Now on to Better Than Beef, which is the first sighting of the Cletus truck. Uh, well known to be the most underrated vehicle in the community. People think it's the worst vehicle in the in the run. They haven't when used the Kremlin. Agreed, Kremlin is by far the worst. I'm not saying Cletus truck is good, but the Kremlin's worse. I'm still doing a bit of a close cam action. Um, Vapor, I think, stating how, how much he loves to play this truck. Um, and yeah, Metal Boost Daisy is my car. It's actually probably my favourite car in ASM. It drives so well. You don't really have enough any problems with it because it's got the perfect speed. Yeah, and Kevin looks like he's having no problems so far better than beef. Oh, some interesting traffic there. Doesn't connect in. Does he get the Apu escape? Oh, that's looking a bit awkward. Just does it though. Yeah. Goes, goes for gazebo and gets it. And he's unhappy about something. I think he's unhappy because he didn't get the wasp. Bacon's gonna bait Tauthil with the uh, Lisa copy pasta. That comment. I don't hate Mel this Lisa is a good level. Yeah, Bamford's clearly struck on the side. Oh, phasing through the train there. That's a bit risky. Yeah, it's a cool glitch though when, when it comes off. Alright, so Caleb now on to Monkey See Monkey Do. Uh, another mission that's not not too difficult. Just you collecting the monkey. Oi, the hardest mission behind is the Oh, we're we still going with that thing? Yeah, it's a really difficult mission. 
going so difficult. Um, also... Educated commentator right here. <laughs> also, did Bamba get the same track with the Caleb, but two cars on top of each other on the right side? Not having a good approval escape here. Yeah, this is not looking good for Bamford. That should be okay. And Caleb also got stuck in the fountain area. But yeah, should be should be okay for the other. Both players are, actually Bamford's coins are a bit low. Most people Ooh, are wanting it's about six monkey. That's a little bit of time loss. That's the crate though. Yeah, really nice sturge up there. He's hit around me, he's pretty high. It's gotta be careful here. So we've already got uh, predictions on finish times. Or is it PBs? Oh, he's got hit and run. Wee woo. Yeah. He's got the oh, wee woo. Right there. He's gonna lose hit and run before he gets up to that um, last drop. Or he, it's either going to be a lot of time loss or 50 coins. Yeah, he got it a little bit later than you'd like. Might still be able to escape? Yeah. Barely. Or escapes. He's lucky there. Yeah, very lucky. Um, so, Caleb has just under 700 coins, which is kind of the lower end of where you want your coins after monkeys. Uh, Ooh, especially for the someone there. who's Here's your last... yeah, who wants to well, skip crusty loot. Bamford for getting out of the car to get that Whoa. museum lost. Gonna lose him a little bit of time, but it should help his coins. So yeah, monkeys probably the best time, especially for newer runners. If you want to make up your coins, it's a good mission to do so. Lots of quick wasps. Ooh, Caleb getting an awkward first car there, but two hours are right. Um, Bamford is 17 seconds green. Okay, time. Oh, yeah, and Caleb is just bread. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how Caleb's second car goes. Seems to have gone pretty well. Yeah. Take Good hit on the third car. This is a bit of an awkward spot. It gets enough damage in him though, so it should be fine. Yeah. Been good start so far. Twenty-eight for Caleb. That's a pretty good sellout. Yeah, very nice sellout there. So Caleb, looking at probably a low twenty-four minute part one, which I think is just on the border of what the top players accept. Goes for ESS there. We get the cutscene skip. He gets the cutscene skip. Yeah, there's a lot of pauses, but he did get it. A big pog. Oh, traffic not being kind to Bamford there. I think that's the worst traffic I've ever seen to start so out. Didn't even get a chance to get the car. It's usually why you flick your camera back when you enter it. Because you almost always get um, no traffic, which can set you up for a fast first car. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but not the greatest of first cars, but won't affect his second and uh, subsequent cars. Yeah, just get better early game. Don't play on 60. Um, this so, car right here is not looking good. This is the second car, isn't it? Yeah, so Bamford must be very late to getting to that second car. 
This could be a huge domino effect here. He's not careful. Yeah. So I killed in a spot that should make the third car pretty manageable. It's a decent hit for the first guy. He's gonna ram him back. It's an easy shot. Yeah, you have to go a long way though, and it will make this awkward. He was in a decent spot though, so. Gets a decent hit on the fourth car. Yeah. Looks like he's saved these sellouts. Yeah, this definitely looks like it can be a pretty solid sellout. Not a great one. Questionable, but... questionable point choice to go for the bend there. But... Yeah. Now the track has been a bit awkward. Caleb and Clueless now. Fish van. Just need one more hit. I hope those were recyclable. Still can't get it. Oh, this is I had a capture. Yeah, this sellout is pretty not good. Yeah, 525 is um, not, not great. Almost as bad as uh, Lampton's. No, I think that's worse. I think Lampton got 540, right? Is that recyclable? Is it 540? I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, Bamford gets some horrible luck there. Uh, Alright, Caleb going for boat jump. He gets boat jump. And gets it, yeah. So he'll be skipping Krusty Lou here. His coins... I'd say, uh... Passable. Also, Bamford getting the cutscene skip, nice. Oh, he's going for Krusty Lou as well. Interesting. I, I don't know how many coins you want after boat jump. I think it's around 950. Yeah, maybe because he was a little bit low. It's gonna be a bit like... monkey-esque for Caleb here. But he should be fine. Yeah, he should be cool. Yeah, he should, he's good. definitely fine. These coins yeah. are really good now from Caleb. Hmm. Bamford now moving on to 3-1. Which is a pretty easy mission. The only problem is you have the Kremlin, which is just a terrible vehicle. It's an easy mission though. The only thing that can impact you is that log trap thing. So yeah, Bamford oh, having a bit of trouble here. Not the cleanest turnaround, hitting the pillar. Um, Caleb going for bonfire, getting a slow version, but it'll work. Did you just say that was an easy mission after I jinxed it earlier, Ticker? Uh, yes. Because you're cursed and I'm not. Uh, so being reliably told that Kremlin is good for Bochamp, I did not know that. <laughs> Black jump. <laughs> Alright, so um, after um, Nerd Race Queen, Caleb has a three minute lead. It's kind of ballooned out a little bit. Yeah, Caleb's on a pretty good run at the moment. Yeah, he's only plus 20 on his PB. And moves on to Hellfish, which is probably one of the hardest missions in Lisa. Yeah, I'd say um, if you don't know what you're doing, it is probably it can go wrong easily. Yeah. Okay, getting fish. But for the, but for Caleb, this should be a relatively simple mission. Yeah. So each car has their own pretty easy strats, but being able to get all three of them consistently can be a bit of a problem. I think it's only the second car which is a bit inconsistent. Yeah. You want that spin turn around into the wall. But sometimes it doesn't do that. Okay, we're getting a very nice first car. Yeah, bound for getting beach and then boat jump. The, the boat reset, sorry. I'll go for cross the He 
Yeah, this should make his coins pretty good as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, that second car couldn't turn one two ways. Oh, Kale doing rock jump and getting it. He's not looking good for Banff. He needs to collect these coins and get out. Yeah. He's going to be pretty hard on time here. He should get it. Yeah, so Caleb having this glitch, I don't know what caused it where the sedan just doesn't die. doesn't register the hits. I would have gotten that in my car at that point and just ground stomped him. Yeah. That's really unfortunate though. Yeah, it's annoying five seconds or so that he just lost for no real reason. Let's see how the third time goes. This is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Caleb gets a nice third car. Alright, Caleb, it's your moment. Your big moment. Where's the poem? Uh, do you know Look the poem, the... I don't know the poem. I tried to sign it before. It said like the yeah. first line wrong. And Snake gave me a good job. There once was a man named Snake. Uh, he was as sweet as a cake. No, wrong. Fuck. Yeah, this is. I needed you to copy it, Kathan, so I could say it properly. <laughs> yeah, D Tops has clearly given up after the second line. Yeah, well, I was wrong already, but yeah. There once was a man named Snake who was sweet, something, something like a cake. Uh, he dropped the beer can after the dam, and I lost all of my time save. Damn sake. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna copy. I'm gonna copy this for Bamford's. <laughs> all right, now we know. But uh, Caleb actually got a very nice drop there. Uh, I'm gonna the put. I'm gonna. Didn't go well. It is copied onto my notepad. So no excuses now for Tico. Yeah. Uh, and we're getting a good cross Uli coins. Yeah, getting the U, which is the optimal car for it. Bacon is down. Oh, a Banffin's Ooh. missed the tree there. Will he get the back up in the dam? Oh no. No he doesn't, this is really bad first car. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little bit of a disaster. You usually don't see many sedans get this far. Oh no. Oh, some bad traffic. This As could Caleb be very bad. The, the freedom drop. So he turns left here. So he's going to yeah, miss I, the shortcut. I actually have never seen the sedan get this far. I don't know where it goes. The first time I saw him get this far was in... in Greeny. <laughs> Classic. And hopefully Bamford will be able to finish it off here. Yeah. Fishy deals is, seems to be going well for Caleb. Pretty easy mission. I can safely say it's uneventful. <laughs> yeah, something must have gone wrong with Caleb. If not, um, I'm not going to get as good a fishy deal as he'd probably like. Yeah, it turned the wrong way. Alright, bound for getting a much better second car though. See how his third car goes. I'm gonna hit him in his like back left. Yeah, he gets it. Should be pretty quick. Does right, Caleb get fucked? Yep, he gets it. Easy. Not the quickest of limos, but a good one. And Caleb now on track four. Probably a high 35. 
<laughs> Wait, why is it? Why is the chat saying spoilers? Yeah, what happened? No, I'm actually watching the race. <laughs> I'm watching the same stream as you guys. Oh, Tika's spoiling it for everyone, like you. Alright, uh, it's your time Chad's to find just Tika. Oh, yes. Okay. There once was a man known as Snake. He was lovely and sweet as a cake. He dropped the beer can as he jumped over the dam and I lost all my time saved for fuck's sake. There we go. Does it work? All bound for get good luck. It works. It does. I hope this isn't stealing. <laughs> Commentator swore. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. This is all a scam. Caleb going for this gas station whilst over here. Yeah. Looks still gone up. Um, Caleb's coins were also very good out of um, Lisa, having about 700. <laughs> oh, does he get donut fire here? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he went for. He's trying to like fix it. Yeah, not working. Probably just gonna stick to the backup now. Yeah, the backup's not too slow. Yeah. It loses roughly 10 seconds. There's a new strat that's come about where if you push him into like the Krusty Burger car park, you can get him there. Yeah, it needs a cool nickname, like Donut Fire. Uh, I can't think of any. I'll see if anyone in chat can think of a good one. Burger Go fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Just shows the creativity of the community. Oh, okay. I'm not happy to miss the watch. Clicking his camera back in rage. Yeah, trying to give us all seizures. <laughs> yep, bag of fire. Alright, so Caleb now looking to get the vents. Gets the gets first the one pretty well. That's usually the hardest one. Gets both. Yeah. His coins are looking really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he missed the spear wasp. The good old spear wasp. Alright, so Bamford moving on to Limo. We'll see if he's able to also get fast Limo. I don't think he'll mind too much if he doesn't get it. As long as he gets the backup. He's going for it though. Yeah. Not working out. I think what's recommended for most runners is to just get as much damage in that roll as possible and just chuck them down there. Well, that's not looking good. Not much more. Um, so Caleb choosing to do a mini grind, that's probably how he's going to try and fix his coins. The limo is not being kind to Bamford. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to work, is it going to keep damaging itself? I don't know. It doesn't look like it is. This is not a very kind limo. He's hitting himself. Oh, there we go. But oh, it doesn't seem to be doing much. Yeah, it's a slow destruction. Kyle got a late drop there. Yeah, Caleb okay, having um, over 850 coins whilst buying inmate. It's pretty good. I think he'd, he'd be happy with these coins at the moment. Did he get neighbors? Um, I actually don't know. Does oh, chat know yeah. if he got neighbors at all? Oh, Ben yeah, can't get up. Trouble. Oh, this is not good. I don't think he's going to be able to jump on. Oh, no. He's. 
He's hit the pole. Alright, deciding to go for the, the easier pole. Get the first try. Nice. No, he didn't? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, I think you'd be pretty happy with these coins at the moment. Yeah. So I move on to um, catch up logic, which is the final time you clear this truck. Oh my god, Skyler, what are you doing? About to get Wee Woo. Giving us seizures. Alright, so bound for now, moving on to Donut. Uh, donut truck as well. Let's hope he gets a good donut um, truck to try and catch up. That then we put a dent in his time. Yeah, so after Lisa, uh, Caleb has a five minute lead. So they are steadily growing it out. As you would expect from Caleb, he's a, one of the best runners at the moment. Yes. So Bamford going for the normal uh, backup strap. Looks like it's going pretty well. Missing out on a couple of donuts, but as long as the donut truck doesn't get too far away. Oh, that is not good. Some of his drops despawned. Kept him in the strat though, pretty close to Wigan. So it won't be a super quick donut trucks, but it won't be a disastrous one. It's a very difficult mission for most players. Yeah. And another one where if it goes wrong, it can escalate pretty quickly. <laughs> Caleb taking an interesting route to get to the phone booth. Getting blocked off by the garbage truck. Marge Simpson, at your service. I think this is the fastest mission in the game. Or was it FMJ? Uh, FMJ has done optimally as the fastest. No right. Yeah, Bamford also missing Spear Wasp. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's going. Run is dead. Just restart mission now. Yeah. <laughs> you can't cope with that time loss. Alright, so Caleb now moving on to walls. Yeah, this is an opportunity for disaster if the game decides. Yeah, there's a few ways that the game can be mean to you here. You can get fail glitch, you can get two cycle, and you can get soft lock. Uh, most of them are pretty avoidable. But, yeah, something you always need to be considering. Caleb Stream just buffering with him. Good. They get the wasp. Gets the wasp pretty. Makes his coins really good. Yeah. With neighbors uh, not got him, anything over 750 would be great at this point. Not the car. Yeah, Bamford not having too much trouble here on Redneck Roundup. Yeah, Caleb won't get fail glitch at least. Two cycles still an option. I assume that he'll do a nip to slow it down. He has a few runners who um, do minimal manipulation. But it looks like he's going to. Yeah, he's slowed down a little. Yeah, Bamford also got a really nice drop on that final drop. And the coins are. Okay, probably a little bit lower than you'd like. Yeah, Caleb should be fine with that nice like, drop. Yeah, this doesn't look like a two cycle. Yeah, it's good for Caleb. Finish. Not good for Bamford though, he needs to find a way to catch up. Yeah, so this is this is probably the 
worst part to get cops because you're going to be a sitting duck uh, by grandpa, so Caleb needs to do well to avoid it. Yeah, Apu cut, Apu's probably going to be a pivotal lo level for this race. The Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, Caleb doing all that. Getting, uh, escaping the sedan whilst not getting hit by um, Bamford hitting the pole as well. And then going for these coins now, which is an interesting choice. It's a safe choice. Some yeah. There's very rare circumstance that um, the sedan can give you an awful second drop. Then you have to pick it up in wool, not wool, the coal jocks. Why? Alright, Tick, I reckon it's your turn. No. I said the poem. Where are we up to? Uh, Scrap circles. They were surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen. And one of them, a raccoon as I recall, hits me with a banjo. Now I never reason with a raccoon before, let alone a Nazi one, so I... Grandpa, what is this the craft circle? Not a thing. Where was I? Right now. The first time I read in a water tower. Crap circle! Okay, okay. It was so long ago, I have to tell it in sepia time. Well, as I recall, it was a sort of cosmic kind of thing. Shaped kind of like a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna? That sounds awfully familiar. I think it was at the Quickie Mart. That's it. It was on a bottle of pop. Maybe that will jog Bart's memory. Man for getting gammed there. Oh. It's all my best work. Uh, so, I wasn't watching, but it looks like Bamford got uh, gammed in there by the wheel. So, yeah, it's catch up logic. Hasn't gone great for him. Getting the Krusty Burger sign and then getting gammed in. Big unlucky. He's not had a good run since Limo. Yeah, hasn't been. Caleb's coin's looking really good, though. He's in good shape. Looks like he's gonna be okay. Uh, almost gets the double. But yeah, yes, he's slow. gonna play script. Yay. Come on, Tico, it's a speedrunner of this game. You shouldn't hold off like that. I don't miss cutscenes. We can't skip those ones. But yeah, Actually, hopefully. Actually, I just went now for you two. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do crap circles. Yeah, hopefully, there's only one more uh, crap circles and that's it. Um, yeah, Caleb going for the quickie mark, of course. It was not playing well for him, but should be fine. And Bamford now starting wolves. See if he's able to get as good a horse as Caleb did. Yeah. This mission, Caleb's doing it right now. This is another one which you can safely say is uneventful. Yeah. Really nothing that can really go wrong here. Um, yeah, Bamford wouldn't be able to get that uh, back of school wasp because he didn't main menu wop after Redneck Roundup. And as long as he gets the rest of the coins here, the coin should hopefully be okay. Uneventful, we get to see sexy Marge walking around. Lord. It's an interesting take will, on the mission. Will Caleb get pulse jay? Oh, he just misses it. Um, Bamford okay, getting interesting drops here, but should be okay. Caleb opting for the vend over um, hedge trap, which is interesting. He's gonna go for cemetery sign. Not cemetery, uh, church sign. Yeah, gets it. D top's favourite strat. It's a very good one. The most consistent Kyle truck strat that I've seen. Alright, so it looks like Bamford is not gonna get two cycle. Got some good drops. <laughs> good. No one likes to see a two cycle. 
here. And it means we'll be moving on to our second crop circles. Um, yeah, this color trap was interesting for Caleb. Yeah, okay, Caleb, so there's no script. You haven't said the script there. <laughs> yeah, Caleb not able to get the best um, second trap, but not a bad one. Yeah, it's definitely passable. Backup isn't too slow. This third truck he needs to get though. Yeah, no real good backups. What if you sent me? The repo guys aren't gonna like that. And Caleb looks to have gotten a pretty good third truck. That should definitely work. Yeah, pretty good color trucks for Caleb though. Looks like he'll end the mission. Probably about a Maybe minute. Maybe these will jog your memory. For the last freaking time, tell me about the crab circles. There was surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen. When one of them, a raccoon as I recall, hit me with a banjo. Now I never reason with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one, so I. Grandpa, what does this have to do with the crab circles? Not a thing. Now where was I? <laughs> right now, the first time I rode in a water car. My crop circle. This is a disaster. Okay, okay. It was so long ago that I'll have to describe it in sepia tone. Well, I, as I recall, it was sort of a cosmic kind of thing. J Black a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna. Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. I think it was at the Cricky Mart. That's it. It was on a bottle of pop. Maybe that would jog Bart's memory. Very well done, Tigger. And perfectly mimicking the cutscene as well. Yeah. That was synced. <laughs> There's just some delay on your end. Cool. Caleb missing the box, but his coins are fine. He had 820 leaving March, and it's a minute behind PB, which I think you'd take a low 52 March. <laughs> Why did you play the cutscene audio twice? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I'd say Caleb is starting one of the more eventful missions of the game. Yeah, stuff can definitely go wrong here. Uh, Caleb should be well rehearsed though. We had to spend about half an hour trying to beat this mission in the monster truck, and did do it by the way. Did it a couple of times. They're uh, I think it be fine. They're not. Oh, these the two guys aren't. Yeah. They're not missing a poo cutscene, so it's all good. Yeah. The cola truck going the long way. I'm expecting some Caleb spam to come up. Oh no! Up. There it is. This is one of the things yeah. that can go wrong on this mission. Yeah, it's Making pretty it quite rare. eventful. Yeah, it costs about 20 seconds. I've been seeing this way too much recently. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while either, but... I think I saw it a day or two ago when Caleb was doing... That's oh. not good. Caleb missing in the drop, which should be fine. Yeah, he was doing monster truck and he went the slow way. He got it first time. Ah, uh, yeah, I did say that, but I haven't seen it for a while. Anymore. This is not good for my insurance. What are you trying to prove with this crazy driving? <laughs> Neither getting the meme cards, almost like they're trying to do well. Um, and Bamford getting a pretty solid uh, Cola Wars. 58 yeah. seconds left is not bad. Time for Cola Trucks there. Yeah, Wi Fi Plus. In the chat. There we go. Alright, let's see if Bamford can also have a good one. Let's see if. Caleb gets two cycled. No, he doesn't. I think that drop is early enough. Ooh, Bamford getting a really nice head strap. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, that's, that is very good. Yeah, textbook. Um, 
to Caleb camp should be now. fine now. Yeah, finishing 5 1. Uh, look nice here, an average drop. Yeah, it should be, should be good. And Banff now going for a roof box. Oh, gets it. And coins speakers. are looking alright. They're a little low. Yeah. But he should be able to work with them. And Caleb does not buy army, doesn't do it, Caleb. And move on to this mission. Another pretty unaffected. That second, that second one is not wanting to blow up. Does eventually though. Not a terrible second one. As long as it's going the way you want it to. Caleb getting pixeled here. He's not going to go for the crate. That's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't coins are fine though. Alright, so how's Banford's third truck? This looks good. Yeah, that's a really nice third truck. All trucks have been pretty good. Yeah, I think all in all, it's a good gold truck. Uh, it might be a new gold. Oh, I don't know, it's gold's 3 out of 6. Maybe not. Never mind. Oh, does Kale get the strat here? No, he gets out. Um, oh, almost another strat. Can't get it. Though he does have lots of drops pretty early on in the mission. Look, like it's smart, baby, man. You can try and get some strats on him, like Caleb just did there at the tree. Mm. So the yeah, dumb ones sorry. a bit harder to do that with. Yeah, I actually got a pretty good baby man. Only just over a minute. As Bamford finishes off uh, collar trucks. Hello, famous. That's 750 coins, which is good. I must admit, the smell of fresh air is much more And after March, there is a five and a half minute gap. So Caleb's still extending it just a tad. You can see that gap either close or widen in the last missions of this level. Yeah, the last two missions in the cuts are very easy to lose a lot of time. Um, Beth going the long way around town here. Not, not too sure why. Getting the phone booth, obviously. Yeah, gotta get that phone booth straight. Alright, Caleb getting that wasp from the police station. His coins look pretty good. We'll have around 900 here, which is a good amount. I think, his, I think his wasps in 5 5 should behave as well, so yeah, his coins are looking pretty good. And he's opting to get this wasp here as well. Yeah, yeah try to. Getting... Oh, that's a risky strap for Caleb. Oh. Can, if he gets Wii Wii, can crash the game. Yeah, looks like he should be okay. Looks fine though. Um, even if the game doesn't crash, um, cops can make this um, chase a little bit scary. All it takes is one cop to hit you and you can lose Wigan pretty easily. But it's all yeah, worked out. pretty so fast, boy. Yeah. So it's 10, 10 free coins to Caleb though, so I guess it's all good for him. That's a fast boy. Thank you for not dodging. I am the greatest driver in all the land. And there we go. Bamford halfway through Colo Trucks at the moment. He's uh, 5 1 looks pretty good. See if he um, see his last few drops. This is where people can fail the mission. If they're not careful. 
and he needs all the coins he can get as well to get uh, Carville for Homer. Uh, turn the wrong way around. This could be a little bit scary. Oh, we're getting good drops there, so we should make it fine. It'd be very unfortunate if people actually got their cutscene skips. No, who would want that? And bam, looks like he's gonna be fine before the end of fight one. He's opting for the box there, which is interesting. Yeah. Seeing as though he didn't go for early American. His coins looking yeah. fantastic though. It's not a very quick box if you don't get early American. Yeah, it's not not the end of the world. Alright, Caleb moving on to the monorail section of 5-5. Five five. Uh, his coins look good, so I think you'll just get the normal Bar's boss. American. Hey. No Caleb's in this run. Yeah, Caleb's coins are set up fantastically. Yeah. Oh, skipping the box. That's an interesting decision, he's right there. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone skip that box There's a lot more slower wasps you can skip, like an armored yeah. truck. Yeah, you can skip this one on top of this roof here. Yeah, you could have skipped this wasp as well. Um, bam, having a pretty good fight too. Goes pretty smoothly. But this wasp should behave, so... Yeah, interesting that Caleb deemed that that wasp was quicker than the box. Um, and yeah, I'd be interested in that. Yeah, so Bam's coins are pretty good. He'll buy a car bill for him and then move on to Baby Bam. We're hoping to get a strap. Bamford onto Baby Bear now. Let's see if he can get him in the strap. Oh, he looks pretty dumb. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, this is a really dumb one. Um, but yeah, dumb ones aren't too bad. The good thing is that they don't drive very far, so you can kind of get lots of quick hits if you don't get juked. Yeah, yeah, Bams. Nah, uh, Baby Bams not too bad. Not the best one, but not the worst. <laughs> the Baby Van mounting him. <laughs> so let's take this time to um, say to, to plan the Apu cutscene just in case someone misses it. <laughs> um, pick between you're gonna pick between Bart and Apu. Um, I'll go Bart. Okay, thanks. Um, I'm gonna choose Kodos then. Alright, so I'm Kane? Yeah, I get to say I like it. <laughs> Good choice. But hopefully, something we don't have to worry about. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to do this cutscene, but... Yeah, so Caleb now moving on to the Muta Triangle. Attempting an armored truck. And... He yeah. looks as... He looks like he's getting it. Yep, yeah, that's that looks in. pretty good to me. Go for both walls. Sweet Should. Get some. Yeah. Gets the Vend as well. Yeah, his coins yeah. are doing well. Very nice. Yeah, it's worked out pretty well for Caleb. Yeah, there's still just one minute red on PB. Still having a very nice run. I don't think and there'll be many complaints. No. He's probably on his best run of the tournament. Yeah, it hasn't been a good one so far for Caleb, but... As long as you can run into form 
for the later parts to be happy with it. And an arm truck taking a little bit of time to blow up so far, but it gets there. Bacon the big bully. Come to Papa, random object, like out of my way, walking dude. Hey, that's totally not supposed to happen. And then, bam, onto the wig and follow. Looks like it's going pretty smoothly. Yeah. As long as you keep despawning traffic. Oh, just so cute. You very rarely fail that with him escape. Yeah. Unless, like, a vocal and be trucks in the way. Yeah, even so, there's plenty of backups for it. Bamford about to finish this little piggy. Yeah. And Caleb now does Caleb's a curator. Oh, sorry. Gets, you if he gets curator and cutscene skip, I think he's going to run away with it. Get in the box there. He's going for fast, you yeah. Misses it. Yeah, doesn't really do much. Get the back up though. Oh, that hole. Gets good damage though. Yeah. Overall, not a bad back up. Yeah, a nice backup. Okay, I'll probably be a little bit upset with it. But as long as he gets cast and skip, I think he'll be. Uh, does not oh, look like it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. You got the script there, three tops. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Shiba H. Vishnu, the cola is dripping from that meteor. Ooh, free deadly cola. Uh. <laughs> Chat going crazy. <laughs> but yeah, shame for Caleb, unfortunately. Yeah, and for us. We did it. We destroyed a priceless archaeological artifact. What we? I did all that. Ooh, we did it. We destroyed the priceless archaeological artifact. Ho ho. What we? I did all the driving. Now let us find out who is behind all this strange color business. I know it's a cliche, but I caramba. That's your line. Uh, look at these space ratings for Earthling. What happened, Kang? Foolish Earthlings used to be the number one reality show in the galaxy. Space viewers couldn't get enough of these humans and their behavior. Our show was down in all key demo. But our show concept was so perfect. We filmed these idiotic bipeds with hidden cameras and beam it into every television go in the galaxy. I'll cover your mockers. These aliens have been secretly filming an intergalactic reality show in Springfield. I knew there was a simple explanation. I'm going to introduce the evil colossus into the water supply. People will go mad. I like it. <laughs> Then we distribute laser guns at the Squidport tourist area. Oh, yeah. The Colin Madden humans will go berserk. Me gusta. <laughs> Destroying themselves and their town. Delivering big, big space ratings for foolish earthlings. <laughs> We've got to prevent the aliens from putting laser guns in the hands of Colo drunk townspeople. Why? That sounds hilarious. I'd watch that show. I'll tell you what, you were a bad little boy. <laughs> <No problem. laughs> Alright, hopefully Bam forgets the cutscene skip. We don't have to do that again. I do not want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Bamford... <laughs> Bamford now moving on to the end of 5 5. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch a lot of it, but I'm gonna assume it went okay. Yeah. Splits. Yeah, he saved uh, 14 seconds there. Good split there. Bamford's oh, doing Caleb. It. Oh no. <laughs> I've never oh, seen no. that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no. This run's going the bid. Yeah. yeah, Caleb is not gonna be happy with this. Hey, no fair, dude. And he missed board. But he has plenty of chances to get it. Missing ball. Oh, oh no, he's, mi he's missed a child. Yeah, he didn't run over little... that poor child. Oh, and he's got Wee first of the run. I couldn't help but see a cutscene in the background. He was it that said neither runner will miss a poo cutscene skip, and I'm not a cursed commentator. Well, no, you still technically cursed it. Cursed it. It's, it's your yeah. fault, Taylor. Right, Everyone so Wi Fi mad or like angry react, Catherine. Bam for doing Whatever you've got. This looks good. I think, yep, that should work. Happy with oh that. no, he's gotten busted. Need sugar. He's got a yeah, grind. Caleb. So tired. Meanwhile, so I think Banff has got armor truck. Yeah, he does. Yeah. It was very Oh, Kaito just decided to destroy the coin. Out of anger, maybe? He would not succumb to coin grinding. Yeah, some interesting decisions. Hey, Kearney. He should be... He should be fine with that um, boat jump. Yeah. He uh, gets boat jump, but then... Yeah. But I'm having a There's bit enough of coin. Loss. Gets him though. Um, I'm not sure if Bam knows about going the other way. This way is going to be a little bit slower. Uh, it's a learning experience though, it's something you hopefully learn afterwards. Yeah, I'm surprised Caleb didn't go for maybe just the wasp. Anyway. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point by the order. You want to get those coins in there for sure. If it's um, managed to catch up a little now, after Caleb's missed cutscene skip. Yeah. Caleb's still um, in the lead. Still pretty comfortable, but... Yeah. You gotta, Banford's got to get Curator and cutscene skip still, so... Yeah, this race is still firmly in Caleb. As long as he keeps a level head. Just still win. Now vote Quimby truck, wow. That nearly screwed him up. Yeah. But Which is why you it. vote Quimby. If you don't vote Quimby, that stuff happens. No. Never vote Quimby after playing it anymore. Oh, Caleb. Oh no. <laughs> and not even getting close to the board. 6-3 Monkey S. Yeah. <laughs> Quimney and Quimmy. Alright, so let's see how Bam goes in Curator. Struggling to get that block size fun. He goes for the normal it, Curator method. Got a situation here. Yeah, should be fine. It's time for some Traffic up Hopefully he gets it. I've seen him practice this before. Oh, he got parked car. Oh no, he can get a car bomb. Does do the car, car bomb. bomb. Didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Should get a decent backup, but there's um, Wee Woo. Yeah, another Wee Woo. And um, we'll see if Bamford goes for courthouse box. He will. Could be a little bit dangerous. Oh no. I would not have done that. Oh no. This is not looking good for Bamford at all. Yeah, he needs to, to just the get box. into the cutscene. Yeah, good decision. See if he gets cutscene skip. Yeah, he doesn't get it either. Oh okay. no. Well, <laughs> well guess we're switching roles. I never okay. thought I'd say this, but I'm actually excited to be going to a museum. Um, where am I? Uh, You're a poo. Oh, yeah. Shiba, yeah, we. Oh, there's dripping video. Oh, free deadly cola. 
This is not on me. <laughs> yeah, Tika with a big commentator curse around it for everyone. <laughs> oh, Caleb failing as well. Oh no! Not 6 3! I take another victim. I did We didn't curse 6 3. We That's didn't curse a priceless archaeological artifact. Hang on. What we? I did a little driving. Now let's find out who's behind all this strange call of business. Oh, Caleb failing it again? I know it's a cliche, but I caramba too! Wow! Oh. Say your line. What's Caleb doing? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Kodos, look at these space rains for foolish earthlings. What happened, Kane? Foolish earthlings used to be the number one. Space fields couldn't get enough of Timbins and behavior. The show is down on all key demos. But our show concept is so perfect. Film these idiotic bipeds with hidden cameras and beamed into every television galaxy. I'll cover your mockers. Uh, these aliens have been secretly filming an intergalactic reality show in Springfield. I knew there was a simple explanation. I'm going to introduce the evil cola into the water supply. People will go mad. I like it. Then we distribute laser guns at the Squidport tourist area. Oh yeah. The cola madden humans will go berserk. Me gusta. Destroying themselves and their town. Delivering big, big space ratings for foolish Earthling. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We've got to prevent the aliens from putting laser guns in the hands of cold, drunk townspeople. Why? That sounds hilarious. I'd watch that show. Tell you what, you're a bad little boy. Okay, no more cutscenes, Skip Misses, please. <laughs> please! <laughs> yeah. You can't. At least the next cutscene. Sure. Will Caleb get past 6 3? It's the big question here. Alright. So it looks like Caleb will be okay for the end of 6 3. Let's see if he goes for Bomber's Van. He's gonna go for it. And should be fine. Bombers, then. And has heaps of coins. Well, Bam having a lot of trouble here. Armored truck not doing any favors. Yeah. Oh, Caleb. Oh, that was close to blowing up his vehicle. Yeah. Not the worst time to blow it up. Still would have. What I will say though is that despite missing cutscene skip, Bamford's actually caught up. By it's still in Caleb's control, hmm. but failing 6-3 twice is not a help helpful. Yeah, that's true. Um, and both runners are now pretty red on their PBs. So yeah, unfortunately, probably not going to see a PB. Um, Bamford coins of low, even if he doesn't get bust, we won't have 600. Oh, wee wee. Another wee wee. They're coming in thick and fast now. Uh, he should be fine. Um, Caleb doing Duff Trump. Maybe he gets this strut. Looks he good. looks like he's getting fast Duff Trump. Yep. That's... Oh no. Oh. That's unfortunate. Can he get the back up? Yeah, get some nice back up there. Caleb probably won't be happy with that. Would be expecting to get fast Duff Trump. Alright, so both players having to grind in the same race. Not something you'd see too regularly. Time for skinny boy. <laughs> and Caleb gets the freebie. Yeah, his coins are really good. Just needs boat jump. That's really, I think that's all he's got left, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he has two opportunities to get it as well. Both in 6-6 six, six and 6-7. Six, yeah. Alright, Bamford on to 6 2. Uh, should be pretty chill. Yeah, you scratch your man not driving if it's best though. Fire in the hole. Yeah. Take that. Yeah, I'll educate 
Yeah, Cal gets a really nice FMJ. And a big pop there. Destroy skin off. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll move on to set to kill. Let's see if we did get a kiss of death at all. No kiss yeah. of death today. Yeah, both players playing a 150, so pretty, pretty difficult to get. Caleb, yeah, Caleb's coins are fine as long as he gets both jump. Might not even need a real. He rolls there. He misses a drop. He misses the drop. It's gonna make fast set to kill a bit monker s now. He's gonna watch that hit and run meter. Yeah, Caleb playing is a bit. Oh. Entitled. He does not want to fail with set to kill with Banford this close to him. Yeah, now finishing 6 2, moving on to Monkra 6 3. I've got another Weewoo. Hopefully Caleb's able to avoid this. He should be fine in this area. Yeah, well, oh, he's uh, hit a corner cool there. Yeah, should be good. His time's looking a bit low though. Oh no, and the long turn around. And traffic. This is this bad. This is, this is a fail, I think. Yeah, I don't know how much time you need. Oh no, that's a disaster. Oh, oh, that's... that's a fail. Caleb's gonna <laughs> try and... <laughs> gonna try this again. Yeah. He is... let this run fall apart. Ooh, Globex, no. Yeah, Caleb needs to just tidy himself back up. He's gonna get WeeWoo again. He can't afford to get busted here as well. Be even more time loss. Yeah, meanwhile, Bamford's 6 3 looks like it's going pretty well. He closed this gap up very well. This could be a tight race to the end here. Oh, yes. Cops turning Caleb around. Ooh, nice. Still able to escape and should hopefully be fine. See Caleb's time when he gets to a log trap. And see if he can get it. Yeah. And Bamford completing 6 3 first time. Not sure how he did it. It was a little tight, but if he gets the jump right this time, he should. Oh, he's. Oh my. And oh, this is gonna be tight. I think he should yeah. just get it. You yeah, he's fine. fine. Yeah, Globex yeah, gave him some really weird physics. And he's not getting boat jump. Interesting. Might try in six seven. I am <laughs> Straight up kills Krusty. <laughs> <laughs> goes back for more. <laughs> Alright, so Caleb now on to six seven. It's crunching time. Bart Simpson at your service. So yeah, we'll see if he does boat jump here. As Bamford tries duck truck. He might do it here. Or he might decide to get all the coins in level seven. Yeah. Always oh, doing the rock climb. Oh, he gets it. Don't forget the backup here. Oh no. Yeah, this is. That's not good. Up. It's gonna give Caleb a pretty nice lead here. Oh my, Caleb. And Caleb fails the jump. And choosing to restart. Not sure if he can win the race from the position he's in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a back and forth race here. 
Yeah, both players, pretty much since the end of Curator, just their runs are not going well. Commentators and new cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> the chat's yeah. cursing the cutscenes, not us. We don't want yeah. to do this. Alright, uh, Bamford. Getting that final drop, but not a good duck truck. Oh, Caleb getting an awkward landing. Ooh. Should still be fine though. The alien guy I don't gets know what got. I don't know what Caleb is doing. You should just. He's not very composed today. Doesn't get boat jump. Yeah. Oh no. I don't think he's gonna oh, get no. the reset either. Oh no. I fail. This is a disaster. Yeah, Caleb just sitting there contemplating. But yeah, needs to try and compose himself. He needs to muster up some energy to continue this run. Much as he hates it, he's still got the lead. Yeah. You get that win. Seal yourself a number one seed. Yeah, Alright, some more love with destiny issues with Caleb. Trap hitting him. Alright, bounce it onto FMJ. And not able to get it. Damn. Yeah, it's a banging track, Kaitlyn, but it's yeah. it's what some runners might say unfortunate. Yeah, best best track in the game. Yeah. As Banford is having a bit of trouble with Skinner. Yeah, Caleb successfully doing boat jump, and we'll do the cutscene skip now. See, See if he gets the cutscene. Nice, gets it. Gets the cutscene skip. Thank you. Bamford <laughs> <laughs> right, on to set to kill. Um, at the very least, Caleb should still be trying to get SC140, which is very, very doable from here. Can He's gonna hope that out of bounds goes well. Yeah, can still get a sub 138-ish time. Yeah, which he would not be happy with, but he's got to secure that win somehow. Oh no. Some bad We're already past the Tims, we're already past 6 3. I think you mean 7 3. Yeah. Alright, Caleb getting Wee Woo. This is not. 6 3 good. Monka S is over. Oh no, Caleb getting oh, he's busted. Got... Oh no. No, he's going to. Not good now. Luckily, he hasn't already got neighbors. Should be able to fix them pretty quickly. Yeah, and Homer too, there's a lot of coin sources close to Simpsons house. Yeah. Which does which doesn't lose too much time. Yeah, okay. But it's definitely not optimal. I'm not sure. Will he even make it to the Simpsons house? I don't think he can make this. Oh no. Got, oh, we might. Yeah. No. No. no he's gonna restart. That's. An... He's letting yeah, Bamford this... catch up. Oh no, Bamford. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh no. And Bev. Bamford has to restart. Set to kill. <laughs> this is just a calamity of errors. <laughs> yeah, both players need to get their composure back. This is anyone's game at the moment. Who can get their composure back? And finish a run. Yeah. All it's about now. Just, yeah, just gotta get that. Just Hang on. What do you mean, damn it, Ticker? What did I say? Oh, Caleb running into spooky group arms. Quickly, Bob. Alright, let's see how Bamford's second attempt at set to kill goes. It's not you, you're just upset that you cursed 6-3. Yeah, 
Uh, Tigger shouldn't be allowed to commentate any more races. It just puts a curse on them. Aethron's just mad. Anyway, let's focus our attention back to these two runners. Right, Caleb so... finishing 7 1 and opting to go for neighbors. Yeah. Get Cause... both boxes. Oof. And Caleb is overcoined by 35. Yeah. That was some super quick acceleration there. Plus 36 hours onto his time. Right, oh, can Bamford make this? Oh he no. Just... Can he? Oh, that is so close. He just Goes, gets it. Goes for both of them and gets it. Gets it. Let's do this thing. Oh my. Both runners just giving us constant heart attack. Um, is Caleb going for 7 2 out of bounds? Uh, I don't think so. I think he goes for 7 3. I saw him yeah. practice it before. I didn't do it. But he's trying to get pretty far ahead of the alien. Yeah, usually you do if you're trying 7 2. Alright, down for getting crusty for, and to finish off part 2. Yeah, Caleb going for the resets. Um, yeah, this is... 7 now. This mission was cursed for Caleb. Will it be the same for Banford? Went for the resets, Caleb, but didn't get them. Spawned in the cemetery. Which might have been a decent result, not losing any time. Caleb was pretty close to a wee woo. Don't think about it too much now, he's at the power plant. He's gonna hope 7 3 goes well for him. Yeah, he can't afford any more time loss. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Banff's coins are good. And as long as he finishes, it should be okay. Yeah, Banff's gotta get cutscene skip now. Yeah, 7 3 is not going well for Caleb so far. Oh, it's gone the complete opposite direction. And Bound forgets the cutscene. We don't have to do part two. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Alright, Caleb, onto the wall. Hopefully, you can get it from here. Banford often opt in for only one box, interesting. Probably only needs the one, so it should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of awkward looking. Caleb's Caleb. struggling with 7 3. This could work though. Oh, he's gonna. Gets I think it. it's gonna turn to his side. No, he gets it. Gets it. Nice. That's big for him. Yeah, so as Pretty long as he gets. Sorry, you go. Pretty sure Banford's only like a three minutes behind now. I'd say. Yeah, nice alien yeah out of... Now to just get out of, out of part two, there was a five minute lead. Almost six. Yeah. But, um, Caleb did fail with the motors right at the end. And does the suck strap. Good chance to use the new emotes. Now, if he gets soft lock here, that'd be the worst thing that could happen. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either, Kater. Probably better though. It's more consistent. Alright, Bamford has the perfect coin. Ruins it. Okay. Gets like two coins. I love not getting um, <laughs> black screened, which is good for him. Yeah. We'll see if he can have a good park. He's pretty experienced, so I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Um, 
I hope that works. <laughs> now, the, the next question is, will Caleb frazzle it? This is an um, important yeah. run at the moment. Yes, he will. It's <laughs> a little frazzle, though. He can't make the jump up. Struggling. Oh, Got up to the first level. Oh, a little flash there. But the jump's pretty clean for the second yeah, attempt. Gets the jump there. Now it's for 7 5, <laughs> and he's going to hope for some good luck here as he falls down. Okay, love. And he falls down again. He's taking yeah, an interesting <laughs> approach. And he gets it the third time. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, third try, Vipo. Yeah. Alright, meanwhile Bamford 7-2 looks like it's gone pretty smoothly. No problems here. Yeah. He's just gotta hope not to blow up the waist. He's closer than he thinks probably. Yeah, I'm not sure if either runner knows where the other one is. What's making this exciting? Alright, so Bamford confirming he's not doing 7-3 out of bounds. So he's gonna lose a little bit of time. Only loses him like 70 seconds optimally, I'm pretty sure. Mm, yeah. And Caleb did have a bit of trouble, so might not even lose. Oh no, he's going away. <laughs> yeah, some bad luck. That, that, that is a Bob right there. Yeah, bad spooky Bob. Even before KFM says it's a Greg. Yeah, Caleb having really bad luck here. There we go. Oh, wow. Finally. It's got it again. Will he drive off again? Oh. Uh, I mean, bait it again. Nah, it should be fine. Get it. Yep. Easy. So, oh, Caleb probably. heading into 7 6. Caleb ben didn't reset. Should get to 7 4. Yeah. Oh, no. Be. So, he has to do it inbounds. Yeah. Unless... Oh, he's gonna get a traffic car. I think that only works when you're too high. You can get into a traffic car. Drop. Yeah. I'm not sure it works the other way around. So Caleb's in 7-6 now. He's gotta get the reset. Yeah. If he doesn't give the doesn't get the resets, it gives Bam a chance to get back on the bus. Um, also, Caleb going for Bomber's reset, but it doesn't look like Don't... it worked. I don't think Caleb can get a sub 140 now. Uh, yeah, no, definitely not. His average has taken quite the hit, which is not good for the knockouts if he wins this. Yeah, he might be close to the lowest seeded uh, first seed in the draw. Alright, so Caleb looks like he'll go for the reset. Yep, been doing escapes the while. alien car early. You'd expect him to get the resets here. Yeah. That reset looks good. Yep, that's a good reset. He's just got to get the last two in the jump. Alright, let's see. Dude, you better not have scratched my car. Uh, oof. It was a little dodgy, but got there. Got the job done. Yeah. Now he's just gonna not blow up the waist. Yeah, not blow up the waist. It's pretty much the only thing that can go wrong. This all is right, all Bam. on Caleb's shoulders now. Yeah, Bamford, uh, onto 7-4. Not the cleanest section of platforming, but work out. Yeah, Caleb not doing a tick on. Huh? done that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna start. <laughs> Did Caleb critch it last run? Yeah, yeah he like critched it last run. I'm not gonna do that again. Goes for the reverse. Yeah, sub 140 death for both runners. Will they go for jump zone? 
Doesn't go for jumps though. That's something interesting there. I should have came on Always gotta do blow up the alien spaceship. So I can right. say the so I can become Abraham Simpson. Alright, so Struggling to pick up the waste here. There we go. There we go. Finally get to it. You're doing um, it, Caleb. Did he just purposely blow up the waste? To spooky bomb? Is he trying to I don't know what's happening. I don't I don't think that was liver. I'm pretty sure. Are you sure, sure that wasn't deliberate? He, he kind I of just drove straight in. I don't know. But right, he's, anyway. But he must not realise how close Banff is. Yeah. That's the case. So he's Banff going finishing he's about to get onto 7 C. Oh no. He's blown up again. He's blown up again. This is a disaster. Yeah, I don't think this one was deliberate. Bamford also getting human cookbook. Nice. This, also, his car's about to blow up as well. He's got to be really careful here. Oh no. He's blown up. He's blown up. He's going to have to restart the mission. He's blown up his car on 7-7. Seven seven. With yeah, Bamford Caleb. looking to do his resets now. This yeah, could Caleb be either to... one's race. Yeah, Caleb needs to relax. He still has this race in the back. Just needs to drive. Yeah, for, well, one of the biggest upsets in the tournament right now. Oh, right, yeah. going for resets. He is going for the resets. This could be pretty big. Doesn't get that first That's reset. That's an early reset. Let's hope he gets the second. No, he can't get it. Oh, come on, Manfred. Oh. No, and then spawns in the cemetery. Oh, no. Doesn't get cemetery resets, unfortunately. Caleb's um, going for 7 7 cemetery resets. Uh, yeah, interesting play. Nah, uh, doesn't work. But still leading the race, it should be fine. They're pretty much almost synced, except in different missions. Will Caleb be able to bring the waste home? Will he bring this run home? He should be able to. He's done it plenty of times. We're getting some bad traffic there. Alright, gets a clean waste pickup. I think, yeah, I think he's determined to finish it this time. They go for 7-7 seven, seven bridge loop and 150 FPS. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh close God, for Caleb. Caleb there. Wow. <sighs> Caleb, you need to put this race away. Yeah, and also really close to WeWoo. Bamford almost at the end of 7 6 as well. Oh, Caleb has Wee Woo. That's his run. Oh, he nearly got lost the waste there again. Yeah, smart Take, reset. Taking oh the hit and run. What is that? Alien car doing something there. Alright, Caleb taking this really slow. Making the right decision. He's to just sure going to he's put the waste away. Bamford Doesn't matter about so. average time, he's got to get that win. This is unfortunate. Does he get it? Yeah, he gets it. Yeah, he gets it. GG. No, 144.28 from Caleb. Probably not a run he's going to be happy with, but gets the win though. And that's the most important part. I think Bamford would be up, um, upset he didn't take the win here. He's yeah. Played pretty well, and there was uh, an opportunity missed. Mm, Bamford had a really bad part to uh, miss out on Duff Truck, F and J, and then failed set to kill. If he managed to get all of those, not only could he maybe have PB, but might have got the win. I'm interested to interview um, both runners after this race. 
Yeah, we'll see if they both decide to go in. Yeah. So, Bamford getting towards the power plant, onto the final leg. Is there a race after this? No, not for a while. Okay. What is Caleb's average time now? Uh, Caleb's average time, I can figure that out. Caleb's average time is a 139.17. Wow. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, I've got a better average than Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking any shots, it's okay. I might choke in my race against Alexa. But yeah, it gets a sub 140 average, which is still pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a pretty cursed uh, group stage for Caleb. But he did what he had to, he got out of the and that's the main thing. Yeah. The win's the most important. But exactly. unfortunately, he's probably going to face a high, like, a really good first seed in knockouts. Um, yeah, your average is better than Catherine by six seconds. It's a feels bad, man. Yeah, just the, kind of the quirks of the groups. Alright, and Bamford finishing it off. He's gonna get a 147... 10. 10. GG, dude. Yeah, GG. GG's. Good race. Fantastic race. An eventful one, we might say. Um, so yeah, so... Caleb and Bamford, if you guys want to join VC for interviews... See if they join us. That was a fantastic race all around. You got Detops and I doing the worst impersonations known. <laughs> I smell toast. I smell toast. Alright, so we've been joined by Bamford. Will Caleb join? I don't think Caleb's gonna join. No, he doesn't want to. I think he's joined. Oh no, he's there. Um, so I guess we can start off with Caleb. Uh, what did you think of your run in the end? Do you need to ask? <laughs> Stupid cutscene. Yeah. yeah. Cutscene's yeah, a killer. The boast runner has missed a pre cutscene. There. Yeah, and, and Bam. Average. <laughs> you guys Bam, how did you find your run? Yes. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, how did you find your run? Uh. <laughs> yeah. It was not great. That yeah. salad I mean, was one of the worst salads I've ever had. Oh yeah, so much happens after that salad. I forgot about that. Yeah, that you, that was some like, dreadful traffic. I, just nothing would go right in it. I was laughing the entire time because I didn't know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> Literally, right from the get-go, traffic was killing you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was some really bad RNG. Mm. Um. Ah, there you go, Tico. So yeah, that was a close race, and um, that ended up being a really close race going into bar, bar two. Like, Caleb, you missed, you failed set to kill there, and boat jump in six seven. What happened there? They didn't work. <laughs> 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 but yeah, 
okay, we had some some pretty bad luck, um, and six three as well, and yeah, bow jump not working. The jump didn't go great. Oh, that's, that's too far good. right. It's the same as Malibu as well. It's not like Kalibe. Yeah, it's just pretty unfortunate. Um, and Bam, did you know how close you were throughout that race? I didn't know. Because, huh? yeah, um, every time Caleb kept giving you chances, and you weren't able to capitalize on it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Entertaining oh, race in the end. Yeah, a very entertaining race. But, yeah, I can see why both of you guys wouldn't be too happy. Yeah. Yeah, is there definitely, anything? Else? This is definitely oh. one to watch back. Yeah, I'm going to, for sure. Yeah, is there anything else that you guys, either of you, want to say? No, oh, GG Guild. Um, I'm happy I got to verse Bacon now. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, yeah, so again, big thank you to both of our runners for a very entertaining race. Thank you to It's Ticker for being my co-commentator. Thank and you I to think, Tops. Yeah, Thank you to Bacon for restreaming it. We have another race starting, I think that's in two hours. And 1 p.m., yeah, I think that's two hours. Um, so hopefully you're all able to join us for that. Mole Man vs JPEG, as you can see in the screen, should be a good one. Yeah, it should be a really close race. So... Looking forward to that. Anything could happen. Yeah. And Use this this you. race as an example. Yeah. So thank you to everyone, and see you then.